Hi folks, it's Ron with Ideal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly measure the voltage drop in a live circuit using Ideal's SureTest Circuit Analyzer here. And if you'd like to know more about the SureTest Circuit Analyzer, it's our catalog number 61-164. So please contact our customer service department or look at our website to find a distributor nearby you that actually stocks them. To use it, simply plug the circuit analyzer into a live outlet using the one foot extension cord uh, provided with the tester. Or you can purchase separately a one foot extension cord with alligator clips that again you could attach to a, a live circuit. Now the test is going to indicate the polarity condition of the individual conductors when it's first plugged in. So simply press the down arrow button twice to read the voltage drop on a loaded circuit. Now the tester measures the line voltage. It's going to apply a load on that circuit for one cycle and it's going to calculate the voltage drop and show it as a percentage of that line voltage. Now the voltage under load is also indicated at the top of the display and the voltage under load should not drop below 108 volts AC for reliable equipment operations. Now results can be displayed for either 12, 15 or 20 amp loads depending on the circuit being tested and this load is applied on and off so quickly that it will not affect any sensitive loads or trip any type of breakers. Now the National Electric Code recommends that 5% is the maximum voltage drop for a branch circuit for reasonable efficiency. Now, a good circuit should start out with less than 5% voltage drop at the furthest outlet from the electrical panel at the end of a cable run. And then each receptacle tested in sequence going back toward the electrical panel should show a steady decrease in that voltage drop. Now, if the voltage drop is above 5% and does not noticeably decrease as you get closer to that first outlet in the circuit, then the problem is probably between that first outlet and the electrical panel. So visually check all the terminations at that first outlet check the, the line or cable between the outlet and the panel itself, and you might double check the circuit breaking connections as well. Now, high resistance points and circuits can usually be identified as hotspots using simple things like infrared thermometers or by measuring a voltage draw across a breaker. Now, if the drop exceeds 5% but noticeably decreases as you get nearer to, the, again, the electrical panel, the circuit may have undersized wire, uh, too long of a cable run, or too much current on a, on a circuit. And so check the wire to ensure that the wire is sized properly per code and measure the current on that branch circuit. If the voltage drop reading changes significantly between one receptacle and another, then the problem is the high impedance point at or between those two receptacles. Now it usually is located in a termination point, at the, well, usually at an outlet such as a bad splice or a loose wire in a connection. But it also might be a bad receptacle too, so check that as well. So to learn more about Ideal Sure Test Circuit Analyzer and how it can actually help you discover wiring problems in a building, contact our customer service department or again visit our website. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.